Tonight's health alert pollution problems. Let's face it, the air in the valley during the summer can be downright dangerous to breathe at times. And tonight we're learning a certain type of air pollution is being linked to dementia. ABC 15's John Patrick taking action for us, explaining the risks and the key takeaways. It's called PM 2.5, particulate matter so tiny it's about 1 40th the width of a human hair. Coming from our cars, burning wood, and when we breathe it in, it can do some nasty things to our bodies. It's associated with higher rates of mortality among infants and older adults, also higher rates of COPD. Nick Kumanoff and his team from ASU found that over time, being exposed to this particulate matter may not only attack your heart and lungs, but your brain. Tiny particulates can travel along the olfactory nerve, get lodged into the brain, and then exactly what happens beyond that's not fully known. The team of ASU researchers are behind the longest and largest study of its kind, cross-referencing the Medicare records of nearly 7 million people nationwide with air quality data, finding some strong evidence that pollution and dementia are related. Being exposed to a 10% increase in annual average pollution levels increases the probability of a dementia diagnosis by about one percentage point. So to put that into perspective, after living in Phoenix for about a decade, you'd have a 6% higher chance of receiving a dementia diagnosis than say living in Seattle, which has better air quality. The good news for Phoenix? We find that the effects that we see are not driven by say ozone concentrations or coarse particulate matter caused by dust storms, which tend to be more of a, an issue in Phoenix. But there's still something you can do to stay safe. Try to avoid heavy exertion and outdoor exercise on days where the air quality index is higher, particularly when it's higher because of fine particulate matter. John Patrick, ABC 15, Arizona.